Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today, we are going to show you two methods to clone NVMe to NVMe. Just come and take a look. Part one: some preparations before cloning. Part two: detailed steps for cloning. Non-volatile memory express as a communication protocol. Developed especially for SSDs by a consortium of vendors, including Intel, Samsung, SanDisk, Dell, and Seagate, it is a host controller interface for connecting SSDs. Now, upgrading smaller NVMe SSD to larger NVMe SSD becomes an unavoidable trend. While some users may think cloning NVMe to NVMe is too much trouble, especially for those who have only one M.2 slot on their laptop, luckily with the methods introduced in this video, you can directly clone NVMe to NVMe with an M.2 to PCIe adapter and reliable hard drive cloning software. Let's keep watching. What do we need before cloning? If there is only one NVMe M.2 slot, we need an adapter for M.2 to PCLE and a reliable tool. And we have two choices here. The first one is to use an adapter from M.2 to PCLE. The second one is to use backup and restore. If there are two NVMe M.2 slots, then you just need to find a reliable tool. The tool should be an all-around tool that offers features for your cloning plans. Fortunately, Alme Backupper is such an assistant that combines disk clone and disk image features. Thus, you can clone NVMe to NVMe effortless. Just Google Alme Backupper, download and install it. Now let's see the detailed steps of two ways. The first method is to clone NVMe to another NVMe directly. Connect the target NVMe SSD to your computer via M.2 to PCIe adapter. Run Alme Backupper to come to its homepage. Click on Clone, and then Disk Clone. Choose the source NVMe SSD and the target NVMe SSD. Be sure you've chosen the right disk, because the target disk will be override. Here we can click Edit Partitions to make full use of unallocated space left on the target disk. And tick this SSD alignment. It can accelerate the writing and reading speed of SSD disk and improve its lifespan. And sector by sector clone can clone all sectors of original disk to target disk. Finally, click Start Clone to execute the NVMe clone process. The second method is to clone via backup and restore. If your computer only has one slot and you don't plan to purchase an M.2 adapter, you can try this way to backup NVMe and save the image to external location. Then replace old NVMe with the target empty NVMe. Finally, boot from a bootable USB and restore the backup image to the newly installed NVMe. So we need a USB drive which is greater than 8GB in size used to create bootable media, and an external storage, NAS or network shared folder to store backup image. Now at the homepage of Alme Backupper, click on Backup, and then Disk Backup. Choose the source NVMe. And the external storage. And click Star Backup. After that, plug in the USB drive and click on Tools. Then click Create Bootable Media. It is suggested 
to choose Wimpy mode. Shut down your computer and remove USB drive after that. Replace the original NVMe with a new one. Insert the bootable USB drive and boot from it. Come to the interface of LMA Backupper. Click on Restore tab and select the disk backup image. Check SSD alignment. If you restore to the computer with this similar hardware, please tick Universal Restore. Then click Start Restore. When the restoring process completes, eject the bootable media, and then you are able to boot from your new NVMe now. Only backup permit the process of cloning NVMe to NVMe the exist. Two methods are provided in this video. Hope this video can help you out. Want to know more about Aomei? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.